have you guys had pretty good, you know, experiences with the Airbnbs? I mean, honestly? Yeah, so we have over 50 Airbnbs and wow. I could count with, you know, one hand the bad guests that I've had in and I've hosted, you know, maybe like over 5,000 guests. Like, it's very rare because we have our systems in place, because so we know cool. what to do, because we have, you know, exterior cameras, because we have noise monitoring uh, devices and everything's on our phone. Like, that's the beautiful thing. It's like, I can be anywhere in the world. Yeah, and you guys are on vacation a lot. I mean, you guys work hard, but you guys can go where you wanna go. You can do what you wanna do because you've built your life by design mm -hmm. to be able to, to do this with Airbnbs. Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott. Okay, this video today, and I'm gonna call this a coaching because I because I like this. They're gonna teach us today, which this is gonna be a teaching vi video. It's a value video. As much as I would like for them to tell their life story, which is amazing, they're really good at Airbnbs. And I want to tell you guys, this, this is like super important. You want to stay checked into this. Okay, number one, first of all, they're gonna give away a free ebook. Everybody, there's gonna be a number on the screen right now. I'll just tell you up front. Um, you can literally get their free ebook on how to do Airbnbs um, and kill it. They're killing it, and you guys can too. And this book's for free, so you can text. They'll send that over to you. Now, why do you want to listen to this? Because they're going to tell you how they built their whole empire, um, and they're amazing. I love these people. Uh, they're awesome. They're very good friends of mine. I mean, JC just lost 20 pounds, right? Yeah. Um, he's going to be ripped and shredded here soon. Uh, their marriage is on fire. You guys are kicking ass. And um, their story is super cool, but they're going to teach us today about the number one investment, I believe, um, as a business person, what you could make. If you have some money right now, where should you put it to have a good return? It's Airbnb. So you guys can text that number. They'll give you the free ebook. But let's talk about it, right? Because a lot of people don't understand it. And what you don't understand, you, you won't be a part of. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you guys are dominating at it. So why don't you guys explain it? And um, I know that you're the you're, Airbnb you're, queen. You're the Airbnb <laughs> queen. Um, crush it. I want to let you rip and just teach away on what people need to know. Because real estate's so big, right? And you guys are in lots of different sectors. But let's... Why don't you explain that and then talk about why you guys chose Airbnb and why that they need to know about it. Well, I wanted to share before the story yeah. that uh, there was an agent that actually was uh, hired by one of our clients. And then it's the difference between how you think about equity and cash flow. The maximum amount of money that you can recoup within the certain amount of uh, time, then that is valuable to our customer. Mm -hmm. We have done, I mean, we have multiple Airbnbs. However, we also have co-hosting gigs. This is where we come in, we help out the, the, the owner to get him into onboarding into Airbnb. However, we had this person, a third person in this transaction, which was the real estate agent. And um, he was saying, hey, get this house. Is the numbers for us, they were not making them. So just buy it because you're gonna get equity. Well, just gonna be whatever you're gonna get from Airbnb or rental, then you're gonna be paying the same amount mm -hmm. in uh, mortgage. Mm -hmm. This is not the reason we get into the game. We get into the game because you're gonna be building equity and cash flow. Mm, huge. Yeah, Big and that's difference. actually the, yes. the name of the game. It's called cash flow. Everybody write that down. Cash flow. Yeah. All right. Cash, cash flow. Teach I mean, us Airbnb. Everything. Queen. Everything about Airbnb is the fact that you can have a rental that can cash flow four times more than any typical long-term rental. Everybody that likes to do real estate and that they have a lot of money, they usually don't care. Oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just, it's a, it's a tax write-off, right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to get, we don't want to pay taxes. Okay. That let's be real. No one wants to pay taxes. <laughs> yeah. And so that's mainly like one of the biggest reasons a lot of people, entrepreneurs want to buy real estate, but they might not want to get into Airbnb because it's a lot of work and it's an active income. And so there's a big difference between passive income and active income. Mm -hmm. So everybody that has a lot of money and they're just looking to buy all of this multifamilies, they're looking for passive income. They end up hiring a property manager and then, you know, whatever they get, they don't really are there for that. They're just there for the equity. They're just there for the passive income. For us, it's about active income, mm -hmm. but most importantly, it's about the cash flow. I don't want to wait, you know, 20 years to start cash flowing in a property. No. And then at the end of the day, you know, bad tenants are everywhere. 
Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to wait 20 years. So let's explain that. What What is active um, income? Can you explain that? Active income is the fact that you do have to do some work, uh -huh. right? So I cannot just be chilling at my house, not having to do anything because Airbnb requires you to answer messages, mm -hmm. to hire a cleaner, hire a light maintenance guy. But see, the beauty about what we have built and the systems that we have been doing for the past seven years, mm -hmm. It's everything's in our ebook, you guys. Make sure you get it. But everything that we show now and that we teach is for you to, yes, you have an active income. You're doing some of the work, but most of that work is automated. Mm. Automation is key. Mm. And I know that's a word that, you know, it's very attractive and a lot of people love to hear about automation. But the, the fact is that 90% of our Airbnb business is automated. That's that right. is a beautiful thing. Yeah. So even though you're saying active, you got to do it really, even though it's something that needs to be done, it can be automated to be done. So really only 10% of it's left for you to actually take care of. Correct. That's and beautiful. so now it just becomes so easy. Now we're able to travel the world. Now we're able to be here. Now we're able to anywhere we want to go, we can just do it from our phone. And, but you have to do some of the work. What's the work that you have to put in? Well, you have to build a team. You have to build a team. You have to hire the right people that can be your boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. And your ebook teaches like yes, who you need, right? Everything. Okay. You know, okay, we good. have our systems. We have our checklists. Everything that we have been building for the past seven years. That's how I was able to retire my dad. I was able to retire my dad within two years of doing Airbnb. Wow. Because it's just the amount of cash flow that you get. It's four times more than any t any typical long term rental. Okay, so let's talk about that, right? Um, I just want to ask, so buying a house is buying a house, mm -hmm. right? And then what you do with the house is the big difference. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So I just want everybody to know, like, um, we're going to take our money and there, there's different ways to buy houses, different types of loans, but you buy a house. If you rent it, you know how much is coming in, you know how much your mortgage is, and you know the gap difference between those. And then in an Airbnb, right, the value of making it four times bigger is because you're charging nightly, you're charging weekends, you can charge more. Like, talk to us a little bit about that, like, of course. How, how that really plays so out for people. The biggest that difference with Airbnb is that you're providing an experience. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. Okay, as you hear us talking about Airbnb real estate, like if you go to Google, she's our mother, and you ask her, hey, what's the number one um, investment to become rich? It's real estate, okay? Airbnbs right now are blowing up. They're easy to do and they've created a free ebook. Doesn't cost you anything. There's gonna be a number below. All I want you to do is text this number. They're gonna send you over this ebook and you guys are gonna learn how to do it yourself. Guys, I love you. I hope you found this podcast uh, awesome. Get your free ebook, text the number below. Let's get back to the video. It's all about the guest experience. We are not in real estate. I see myself as in the hospitality industry. I love that. All right, so that's important. So, and this is what I love about you because this is a different side. Mm -hmm. Like she says, I'm not in real estate. And everybody's like, wait a minute, we're talking about real estate. She said, I'm not in real estate, I'm in hospitality. Okay, so ex explain that a little bit. And I want everybody to be open-minded to understand it because it's a different game and that's what makes it worth four times more. Exactly. Why is it so different? Because we care about the guests. Mm -hmm. We wear our heart on our sleeve. We want to provide the best guest experience. And that includes having a great design in our home, in our house, includes having all of these amenities. Why would you pay top dollar for a property that is just giving you a place to stay? Mm. We're not in the game about heads and bets. We're in the game about providing the best guest experience. And that's why I'm the Airbnb queen, because that's all I think about. Mm. It's like you have to think about hospitality every step of the way. How, and if you keep doing how that, do you do that. Like, like, like not giving away all the secrets, <laughs> but like, but like, is it, is it the design of the home, the way it feels when you walk in? One of the, Actually, the one of the biggest thing. things. Yeah. Just some secrets. Yeah. We were thinking about like, the like, you don't have to give all your secrets away, but like, no, we can't. Else? We don't, we're not gatekeepers here. You know, uh, our competition, they always head to the bottom. It's a race to the bottom. Whoever has the cheapest place or the, the least amount of uh, comfort, they always, and uh, it's like a pyramid and the bottom, there's a lot of competition with the pricing. But once you go into top, for us, we get, get a little bit more expensive, but they actually, we offer more. Mm. And that's where there's no competition. So we just look at, hey, I mean, from their filters, whatever there's inside of a Airbnb that actually gets us to the top of the list. Okay, the market is flooded for a three bedroom. Okay, we're gonna offer a five, a six, 
Why? Because there's just a few of them. Yeah, so, so, so just you look find at the, more unique. Yeah. Yes. So it's not about making themed Airbnbs, all right? I'm not a preacher about themed Airbnbs. Got it. I all I do all of the interior design from for our properties. Mm -hmm. My husband builds them. And so it's it's a great team that we have here, but the biggest thing is that we really focus on the design, not just making it pretty, but functional. Mm -hmm. That's where the, the key factor is. Cheers. It's not just about making it pretty. I mean, yeah, it's going to look pretty. Like the, the pictures are going to look beautiful, everything. But is it functional? Because your, your reviews will matter the most. Mm. So if you're not getting raving five-star reviews about every single aspect of the home, then you're not doing what you should be doing about the hospitality industry. And see... Everybody's always like, oh, the market's saturated. I just purchased, excuse me. We just purchased. Get her, get her, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> we just purchased our first Airbnb in Arizona because we are always coming out here. Mm -hmm. Every single month we're out here yeah. and we made the decision. It's like, hey, every single place that we travel, we have a couple in Mexico because we travel a lot out there. Yeah. We have a couple of our vacation rentals out there. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, we're always traveling here. We need to find an Airbnb here. Why? Because I want to make money, but when I'm here, I want to save money. Mm. So Sheesh. that's the beauty, beautiful part about Airbnb because yeah. why you're, you're offering a completely furnished space. It's functional. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It has all of the amenities that it needs. And now he mentioned this to me a, a couple of days ago. He's like, there's no competition on the top. And you say it all the time too. It's like at the top, one percenter. Why? Because there's no competition. No that. one's willing to put in all the work. Every single time we purchase a property, I never purchase a property with the mindset of I'm going to sell it. I'm going to see how much equity I'm going to get from it. Mm -hmm. This is our retirement. This is generational wealth for us. My, my daughter's going to have all of this Airbnb is all for her. But the beautiful part is the fact that I'm thinking I have to invest into this property because I'm going to keep this property forever. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to have asset. I'm not going to go like halfway. I'm going to spend as much money I know I need to spend. And sometimes right. I do go over budget, but because I know that I'm the person that's going to be dealing with any maintenance issue that comes back and hunts me. Mm -hmm. So I don't want that. And it's never a bad decision to make it extra special because that's just what makes it keep renting. I mean, exactly. Right? And so that's how we're able to get, yeah. you know, four times more than ca like anyone else cash flowing. Yeah. It's like, I see it all the time. It's like, oh, you know, we're not, it's slow season or we're not getting as much bookings and you know, it's silver saturated. Why would I purchase an Airbnb where here in Arizona, there's already over 20,000 Airbnbs oh. because I know I can stand out. Mm -hmm. And that's what we teach on our ebook. That's what we teach on our courses. I we have that. been doing educational courses since 2021. Well, we have a YouTube <clears throat> channel. We've been doing all these things. Why? Because we know that this can change lives. Yeah. There's all of these people that they have maybe an extra room in their house or maybe they have a casita in their backyard. They have an ADU. And, and you can Airbnb all you those. Can, there's, so Ooh, many ways good. that you can do Airbnb. Super you creative. don't have to have a house. You can do tree houses. You can do glamping. You can do RVs. Like mm -hmm. there's so many ways for you to get into Airbnb. It wow. doesn't have to, it doesn't mean you have to go and buy a property, a, a single home or a multifamily. Wow. You can get a tree house. You can build a tree house. You can get, go into glamping. You can go into, you know, hey, I, I have a trailer park. I'm just going to start Airbnb and some of the Airbnbs. Like there's just so many ways, but obviously there's a market for every single situation. So right. our market, it's not the RVs because yeah. that's not what we specialize in. Yeah. Our market, it's multifamilies and single family rentals mm -hmm. that can, with the design that we bring in and the functionality, they can be at the top of the game. I wanted to actually throw in a secret. So the, the, the thing is that everything is like sales, right? As a funnel. Mm -hmm. The first time that we get a customer, that customer is going to be a raving fan that is going to come back. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Now we don't have to pay like a percentage of the fee as high as the first time. Yeah. Now we can do maybe direct booking because I already have the contact information. Mm -hmm. And now we, are, we have like bigger profit. Now we have mm -hmm. someone that is going to already knows that we're going to be offering a great service. Mm -hmm. So now they're going to be taking care of our property. So there's a lot of ways for us to have a 
build this uh, business more functional that a lot of people are actually getting out of it. So we're thriving while everybody is failing. So why? Branding. That's because of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you guys do a great care. job, Brandy. Yeah. What What is um is it is it easy or hard to take loans? On loans? These? Mm -hmm. Actually, like now if a, if a person is watching get, this, yeah. Oh, that's good. Now, like, like because they're like, hey, I want to do that, but like I don't, <clears throat> I don't know where to start. Right? Like, download the book. Make sure everybody understands. They keep saying it's in the ebook. It's in the ebook. It's in the ebook. Make sure you guys text the number on the screen, and they'll send you the ebook so you can print it out, read it, look at it. Um, what what about lending? Like, is it is it pretty easy to get started with this? Because this is a good investment, but like, how hard is it? It's so easy. I Ooh, mean, I like that. A long time ago, when we started, it <clears> was <throat> so hard to get a loan for short term rentals. But now there's all of these other programs that they are now very short term rental friendly, mm -hmm. very Airbnb friendly. That on the property we we're closing today, it actually the appraisal came back with a short term rental survey. Oh, wow. And so now we don't even have to go with the rent comps or anything like that. They went to AirDNA.co. They pulled out what it's saying that the property is going to make. And as long as it's making a 60% occupancy, they're able to loan you on that. Now, wow. credit, guys, it's always going to be important. Okay. So make sure you have good credit. My husband here has better <laughs> credit than me. And so he was able to get the loan. And so it's, it's just like a typical investment because mm -hmm. we were able to do an 80-20 loan, only 20% down. Yeah. Usually every investment property, you require a 20% down when you're going through a bank. Now, we've gotten Airbnbs every way possible. Mm -hmm. We have done owner finance. We have done sub two deals. We have like everything's about creative financing because it doesn't harmony matter loans. how harmony loans were the worst. Mm -hmm. But um, but it really doesn't matter how you get the property. As long as it cash flows, you got to run your numbers. Yeah. You got to make sure that, hey, once this property works, then I'm going to be able to cash flow from this property. So I've never focused on the interest on my loan. Mm -hmm. I never care about the interest. People focus so much on the interest that they miss an opportunity. Mm. I don't care about the interest. I care, am I going to cash flow? Okay, so let's teach, because it sounds like the most important part of this. Number one, just for everybody, because anytime that we do these trainings, like our goal isn't to just run them forever. Our goal is to give you some advice, like, you know, real estate, it makes more millionaires than anything else in the world. Like you, you need to know about it, you need to get into it. Um, lending, it, it's, it's pretty easy. It's not hard. Um, she's saying cash flow, right? Like it creates cash flow. And she says, you just got to be a little active and, you know, and, and 90% of it's automated. Uh, what, when you say cash flow, right? Like how do you, if I'm going to go buy one and obviously I know you teach it in the ebook. So everybody make sure that you text the number on the screen so you can get your ebook download. So that way you can print it off, read it and go through everything that they know A to Z. But if I was, if we were going to go look at a property, right, and we're deciding whether it would be a good Airbnb buy or not, what what metrics would we use? What would, how would you think on that? And let's really like tie that in here at the end. How how would we decide? Perfect. So the first thing is like you got to make sure that you check out the neighborhood. If you would not stay in that neighborhood, mm -hmm. if you wouldn't feel comfortable with your wife, your kids, your grandma, whoever, yeah. like staying in, in that house, don't buy that house. Got Why? It. Because most of our Airbnb guests, the ones that are booking are women. And so you cannot see where the property is before you book. But the thing is that once that guest gets there and they see the shady neighborhood, mm. they're not even going to get out of the car. They're going to not even risk it. They're just going to leave. So it's super important for you. And then you get a trash you. review. Yeah, you yeah. get a bad review, you, you get cancellation, you have to refund. Like, so we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure that, hey, you got to really scout the neighborhood, mm -hmm. make sure that everything is good. Second thing, be close to any highway. Mm, How fast can you get to a highway? Why? People that are traveling here, they do not live in the city where you're at where you're at. It doesn't matter where you are. Yeah, it's huge. Well, how fast can I get to a highway, right? And I'm talking about urban markets. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about vacation markets, it's a little different. Why? Because people usually, when you are in a vacation market, they want walking distance to everything. Yeah. 
So if you're gonna go to the beach, how close can I get to the beach? Yeah. Well, the condo I have in Playa del Carmen, I even put 350 steps to the beach. Mm-hmm. And the title. In the title, right? Yeah. So that's number two. How close can you get to a highway if you're in an urban market? Mm-hmm. Or how close are you to an, um, uh, an event place or a baseball state, whatever it is that brings people to your, mm-hmm. an, an attraction, right? So what brings people to your place? So mm-hmm. if you have a place in Anaheim, well, how close are you to Disneyland? How close am I gonna be to get to Disneyland? Is mm-hmm. it 10 minutes? Is it 15? Is it an hour? Then you're not in Anaheim, dude. Like, that's kind of like the whole idea. Yeah. And so you have to really scout the neighborhood. You have to make sure how close can you get to a highway because then people can move around. Mm-hmm. We all have GPS. We all have our phones. So, but once I get to a highway, I know I can get from A to B however fast I need it. Mm. The third thing will be amenities. What are the amenities that this property offers? Okay. So if does it already have a pool? Yeah, like your like pool, like backyard yeah. setting. Is it like is the pool already done? Does it have a pool? Second of all, can I convert this garage into a, a fifth bedroom? Mm-hmm. So really knowing the metrics around that area, and it's a simple search. I mean, you can just go into Airbnb. You don't even have to pay for anything like external. Mm-hmm. You could just search like, okay, I want to be here. Now, what if, if I need a four bedroom? Well, how many four bedrooms are there? Like, it'll come up. How many five bedrooms? How many six bedrooms? And but you, then if you see there's like three bedrooms and there's like thousands of them, well, don't get a three bedroom because you're just going to be in the same pot as them. Yes, yeah, so you're saying like, basically, if you're going to go buy something, do a little research in that area where you're going. And then, you know, if there's like, like you said, 20,000 three bedrooms, when you type in four bedrooms and it would say a thousand, you're exactly. like, okay, then we definitely need to get a four bedroom because that's going to be rented out way more. Yeah, you don't want to duplicate whatever, all the other stuff that's on the market. Mm-hmm. And then the the last secret I would say is finding something that you could do with that garage, right? Like mm-hmm. if you have a garage, well, that could be a game room yeah. or that could be a fifth bedroom. Yeah, I've seen Like that a lot. you can find how can I make more money from this property? Mm-hmm. It's not going to be just like, okay, this is what it is. And, and then I'm just going to have to go and roll with the punches. Like, no, what can I do? What amenities can I add? Mm-hmm. And if I can convert that garage and make it into a fifth bedroom or make it into a game room, like that's going to be really interesting because now yeah. you're even making it a little bit higher for you to be at the top search. Yeah, we have a... Uh, Jackie buys a bunch of houses and it seems like she rents them out to the team or, you know, we do different things with them. And mm-hmm. one of them, um, we bought one of our guys that was here. Um, he stayed in it for like a year. And then when he moved out, um, it was fully furnished. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, I guess we'll Airbnb it. And then Jackie's like, um, we need to put something in there, you know, to make it like stand out. Mm-hmm. And so she ordered like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 grand and um and video games you know like the, mm-hmm. the arcade games mm-hmm. right so in the in this one place she put an air hockey table she put uh two stand-up pac-man deals she put the gun game mm-hmm. right and she just ordered them online from this place they delivered them out we put them in and then we took the pictures and that first picture has that game, the room game with room. the pac-man yeah. and all the stuff and all that and dude it says with full full out game game room right and it always Airbnbs. Yeah. Just just because she put in an extra 10 or 15 grand in games, mm-hmm. it just stays rented all the time. One other uh, secret that I actually didn't mention is that pet friendly stays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, we get paid for the cleaning of the pets. Mm-hmm. Like, we put it in our house rules. Let's say um, we charge $50 per day per pet. Let's say they have eight pets and they're going to be staying. Oh, a, yeah. No, we don't allow eight pets. <laughs> But yeah, it yeah. is on, on exactly. our country. We ain't taking eight. eight. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. But I mean, we can charge, you know? Yeah, yeah. so it's like an yeah. upsell, upsell if you yeah. have animals. Yeah, and then um, have you guys had pretty good, you know, experiences with the Airbnbs? I mean, honestly? Yeah, so we have over 50 Airbnbs and wow. I could count with, you know, one hand, the bad guests that I've had in, and I've hosted, you know, maybe like over 5,000 guests. Like, it's very rare because we have our systems in place, because we know what to do, because we have, you know, exterior cameras, because we have noise monitoring uh, devices. Like Mm -hmm. we're not doing any like privacy or anything like that. No, it's still like- No, but you're setting up. 
the, yeah, the system to yeah. be successful. Exactly. We don't want to have the neighbors calling on us because there's a party that's happening. Like we want to make sure that we can catch all of those things before it happens. And mm -hmm. so, you know, that we have some systems that they also detect marijuana or cigarette smell. And so it, wow. it alerts us and everything's on our phone. Like that's the beautiful thing. It's like, I can be anywhere in the world and I'll get the alert. What, uh, what's the other thing? It's like, we don't have to worry about sending messages or like, every single message that has to go out. No, it doesn't matter if I'm on airplane mode, like that message will go out. Mm. And that's that's why it's been so easy for me to continue Jeez. managing all of these properties, all of these Airbnbs without me having to, you know, oh my God, like being and, on my phone all the time. Yeah, and you guys are on vacation a lot. I mean, you guys work hard, but you guys can go where you wanna go. Yeah. You can do what you wanna do because you've built your life by design mm -hmm. to be able to, to do this with Airbnbs, you know? And by the way, you, you got your first one how long ago? So if anybody's watching this and they're like, wow, 50, you know, Airbnbs. All right, so how long ago did you get your first one? Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. Okay, as you hear us talking about Airbnb real estate, like if you go to Google, she's our mother, and you ask her, hey, what's the number one um, investment to become rich? It's real estate, okay? Airbnbs right now are blowing up. They're easy to do and they've created a free ebook. It doesn't cost you anything. There's gonna be a number below. All I want you to do is text this number. They're gonna send you over this ebook and you guys are gonna learn how to do it yourself. Guys, I love you. I hope you found this podcast uh, awesome. Get your free ebook, text the number below. Let's get back to the video. So for us to start hosting and have the first one ready probably was about five years ago. Wow. Because so, we so you first had, quick. yeah, we, we grew very quickly in the first three years. We did one to, to 30 and then, um, and then this last year we went from 30 to 50. Wow. You guys ain't playing around. No, we, we work hard and we play hard. Yeah. I that's know. the whole, that's the whole game. Okay. So super important. Everybody, um, greatest investment, I believe for any business person, any entrepreneur, any entrepreneur, any salesperson watching this, Airbnbs, okay? Now, you've gotta decide, I mean, and I think you educate yourself, right? Like, man, like, you're like, this is awesome, they got 50 of them. I mean, they they could also work and do this, but they've decided to do this full time, and they crush it, and you know, everywhere it seems like we go, you guys are there, and yeah. we're everywhere, and we're always, <laughs> And it's like, oh, they built a life by design. You guys can too. So two things. One, um, make sure you guys text the number on the screen and get their free ebook on how to crush it in Airbnb space. And then um, number two, let's let's talk about if they want to follow you guys on social media because you guys do some really cool stuff. How do they how do they follow you guys and, and even see your YouTube channel? Yeah, so you can actually search Airbnb Queen on Instagram. Airbnb Queen. Yeah, huh? and then um, and then whoever comes out as Heidi, that's me, Heidi Sowens. We have our our yeah. billboard here. That's right. Um, and so Heidi Sowens, Airbnb Queen. That's how you'll find me on Instagram, um, Facebook, YouTube, anywhere, and. And then, you know, you can also go to our website, our website directly. It's soens.com. Just like and on the shirt. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. S-E-O-E-N-Z. Yeah. And so soens.com, that's where you'll find all of our training, all of our coaching, all okay. of our challenges that we do. Um, we are very committed right now into teaching others how they can grow and forge yeah. their empires with hosting. Yeah. And so that's all we're really focusing on ever since we joined the Elliott Army. Like it's yeah, been like, we fire. had to kill it, yeah. Yeah, and I wanna say this, I wanna call this because this is super important. Um, so number one, their physical fitness is a big deal right now. Mm -hmm. They're on this journey, total recreation. Um, you guys are gonna see, you see them a lot. Um, it's the first time we've done a podcast together, but they're with me a lot on social media. We go do things all the time. They're like family to us. Um, I, I love that, you know, they love coaching people. They're, they love teaching people what they do. They're super passionate about it. They're super successful with it. But also, um, they're growing every day. Like, they're so coachable. And I just love being around coachable people. It means that they're doing well in life and, like, they know what they want and they just want to keep growing. They just want progress every day. And so they're on the self uh uh, fitness journey right now that's super cool. He lost 20 pounds in yeah. what? I mean, 60 days? Yeah. You know, something like that. I mean, you know, it's totally crazy how people transform. And I just, I want to remember, I'm saying this because I'm going to 
play back in, mm -hmm. in you know, six months from now, this podcast, and we can see how much you guys yeah. have changed because I'm, you know, we talked about like physical transformation. Um, you guys doing so much, your marriage is getting closer. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys are, you know, just growing in every area and it's amazing. You guys are beautiful people. I would tell you if you're watching this and you guys are looking for, um, you know, next level. And, and by the way, like um, you guys can, you know, DM Heidi on Instagram, you know, you can ask your questions, direct message her, you know, um, ask any questions you want. But I would say everybody start with the ebook. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, like start with the ebook. They're great coaches. They have a badass company. Um, there's, there's applicant teachers, which are like people that are doing it now. And those are the people that I want to learn from. So like 50 Airbnbs, come on, let's go. Um, and then there's, you know, theory teachers. Like in theory, if you're going to get Airbnb, this is kind of how it would go. You guys can ask some questions on how can I get loans? How can I do financing? How can I get things set up? You know, who should I use? I don't care what it is. And they'll walk you through every step of the way and they'll actually even teach you. But start with the ebook. Everybody download it right now. Um, any last thing that you want to say as we finish? I think the biggest thing is that um, we were advised not to give out the book because it's too complete. <laughs> so it's a lot of information. It is for free. So definitely, I would say, like, get it before. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> well yeah, and, and, and I, hey, and you know what? And that, that, isn't that cool? I mean, we're in an era right now that literally just one decision could change your whole family's bloodline. You know, I mean, this changed y'all's bloodline, you know yeah. what I mean, doing this. And, you know, it would be cool if you guys uh, get into it, do the research, um, study it. And then if you need anything at all, JC and Heidi are amazing. Make sure you hit them on Instagram. You guys can go watch some of their YouTube videos. But most importantly, start with the ebook, and you'll see a lot of them with me. Um, we're going to be together until we die. We're going to kill it. And uh, I love you guys. This is the time right now where we educate ourselves. And, you know, what it costs us not to educate ourselves is, I mean, millions. It could be a whole different life. It could be breaking your family's bloodline or putting a financial fence around your family. I mean, just because you were too busy to download an ebook, mm -hmm. just because you were too busy to spend some time. So if you made it to the end of the podcast, you're the true one percenter, um, download the ebook and make sure you guys follow JC and Heidi and make sure you reach out to them. Love you guys. Heidi, you look great. Thank you. JC, we're gonna go psycho. I'll oh, yeah. see you guys in the next podcast. Let's go. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero 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 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I wanna get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I wanna roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link, it says coach with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast. And I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, Click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.